Okay, so quickly now let's see uh, how to remember, how to memorize the scoring from uh, 0, 1, 2 and 4. So just imagine if a patient comes to you and uh, you know, you think that she's a pretty young female, okay. So automatically if she's a young female, she belongs to 0, okay. Less than 40 is 0, more than 40 is also just one risk. Let me tell you that so age is not much affecting the scoring over here. So what actually matters? If she's a full term pregnancy, she goes to a high risk factor that is 2. Okay, if it's a pre previous H mole usually ends up into GTN but it's a very low grade GTN most of the time because you were so careful with H mole that you followed her up very beautifully. It's only after abortion and term pregnancy that you kind of, you know, misdiagnose, ignore, neglect, patients are not treated properly, their bleeding again and again is like taken as, you know, abhi to pregnancy hui hai, maybe her prolactin level is high, maybe that is, so they're ignored. So usually they're caught pretty late, which is when the third variable comes that is you know how long it has been since her last pregnancy so if it has been just a couple of months let's say four months or less four to six months also zero one okay but if it's gone beyond that it's like six six to twelve months or more than a year they belong to high risk categories two and four so what i'm trying to tell you is that focus on the high risk you'll automatically remember the low risk that's the funda so if you're talking about full term pregnancy and more becomes high risk age not much effect uh, you know it does not have much effect but if the antecedent pregnancy was long back high risk beta hcg level pre treatment beta hcg level it's very easy to remember now one thing uh, which is there given in the books is what they've done, done is they put beta hcg as 10 to the power 3 10 to the power 4 10 to the power 5 how many times in your reports do you really get this kind of beta hcg level that you know it is 5.2 into 10 to the power 3 you get 5,236 or 50,544. This is how you get it, right? So what you have to remember for quick calculation is less than 1,000 is low risk. 1,000 to 10,000 is also low risk. But if it's above 10,000, 10,000 to 1 lakh or, 10, you know, 1 lakh and above, automatically it becomes high risk 2 and 4. Correct? Now let's go on to the next side. Largest tumor size. See, largest tumor size usually is not reported. Uh, if there is an ultrasound which shows, yeah, there is a, you know, a, a growth scene and the growth is around 3 into 4 centimeters, then probably yes. But mostly the growth uh, is not there. It's just, you know, an, a hyperplastic, new, uh, you know, endometrium or theca luteensis or something like that. So uh, this is questionable. But if it's more than 5 cents, that is why there is not much effect of this particular thing on high risk or whatever, low risk. Because that's usually not there in the reports. So 3 to 4 centimeters and 5 centimeters is, you know, lower risk only. Now let's go on to the side of meds. Like I told you, lung is the point at which, you know, the meds goes fast. So much so that in uh, all other, you know, uh, malignancies, lung meds is considered stage 4. But in this case, it's considered stage 3. Stage 4 is rest, rest of the meds. In that also, if it is not a GI tract, liver or brain, then it is high risk. Even if it has gone to the spleen or kidneys, it's low risk. So 0 and 1, low risk. Lung, spleen, kidneys, low risk. GI, liver, brain, high risk. And number of meds. Number of meds will always be reported. Number of meds are usually reported. 2 meds here, 3 meds there, 4 meds there. And you have to just combine it and see the risk assessment score. If it's more than 8, it's high risk. If it's more than 5 also, it's high risk. Okay, so that thing you should know. See, previous failed chemotherapy. Don't you think when a person comes to tell you, okay, you I, I went through a chemotherapy, I had this, uh, you know, uh, previous, uh, uh, let's say, um, uh, low-risk GTN, which is now, you know, uh, or probably uh, uh, had one uh, uh, episode of this GTN and I went through chemotherapy and finally, in the follow-up, or low risk GTN with the follow up, I was doing well, but suddenly there, there was a plateauing or sudden increase in beta HCG level. That means that one single uh, drug therapy failed. So it's a chemotherapy, failed chemotherapy automatically becomes high risk, but whether it is single drug agent or more than two drugs, it automatically becomes high risk. What I'm trying to tell you is that just remember this part. Automatically, you will remember this part. Okay. It's not that difficult. It's very, very easy. If you just remember these five, you know, eight variables, three on the history alone and five remaining five on the basis of diagnostic parameters, things will become pretty 
in your mind and remember that 0, 1, 2 and 4. Remember this. Remember just these two columns and you automatically these columns, the other columns will start to fill in. And just take this as a screenshot in your mind. Just have this picture, you know, inside your mind and nothing can go wrong. Even in, in front of the examiners, remember to be strong, confident, at the same time respectable. Because obviously the examiners do not remember as much as you remember. You are preparing for an exam. They have just come to examine you. So if you're answering confidently, maybe one value here and there, they'll not pick, believe me, unless you are fumbling yourself. So that is one more trick which I wanted to give you today. So all the best for your exams. Stay in touch. Be on my uh, you know Telegram group because I announce all my live classes there. Currently, vaginal hysterectomy workshop is going on. I'm taking live cases, some from my OT, some from other uh, places, some borrowed from my friends, from their OT. And I'm teaching you hysterectomy step by step. So be sure that you are there in my Telegram group because all the announcements are being made there and the classes are also being posted there. Okay, bye-bye.